Hey guys, welcome back to the Design Creativity and Technology channel. My name's Aaron. On today's video, I'm going to be doing an unboxing review on this little tiny 3D printer that's come all the way from Shenzhou in China. A couple of weeks ago, I was contacted by Nick from moozmoz.com uh, asking me would I kindly do a review on their new 3D printer. I'm really excited about this, guys, because I've read a lot about these. Um, as you know, I'm not really a 3D printing sort of guy. I'm more of a CAD CAM CNC machining guy, but I do use 3D printing. Although I don't highlight it a lot in my videos, I use it for proof of concept and uh, research and development purposes. Now, I believe this little printer here from Moose can actually um, have a blue laser diode attached to it and also a little tiny um, router motor. Now, I'm not sure which one uh, Nick has sent me, but I believe it's that one here today, and we'll soon find out. So, the printer was sent all the way from China in Shenzhen, um, and I received it on Friday, believe it or not, which today is Saturday. So I received it yesterday, and I've been really anticipating and uh, to unbox this, but I had to hold back till I get this on camera. So let's open it up, guys. The box has come um, pretty well packed. It's, um, it's got one tiny little dent that you can probably see here on film. Now that's probably shipping. Uh, when it came over on, I believe it came Air Express. All right, let's open it up and let's see what's inside. Okay, it's very well packed. We've got um, some really sturdy high density foam in here. Oh, look at this, this is unreal, guys. This printer is actually, it has the little CNC milling head. How cool is that? Look at the little tiny drill chuck on there. Not sure if you can see that, Moz, uh, double M-O-Z. It looks like uh, aluminium extrusion construction, it looks very well constructed. Fair bit of weight in there, which is good. You need weight for rigidity when you're doing CNC engraving or routing. Looks like we've got some trial filament in the bag as well. Um, what is it? It's PLA, 1.75 millimeter white, white PLA. This is friggin' sweet, guys, honestly. I can't believe it. I was really hoping they sent me the one that could do CNC routing. Okay, we'll pull out another head here. Alrighty, look at this. Oh, this is the laser head, guys. It looks like the laser diode in there. I'm not too sure. I'm not too sure if it's a blue laser diode or what, what actual laser is it. But once again, it's all aluminium construction, guys, around here. Uh, a very nice, well-presented uh, grill in there as well. Okay, what do we got here? Oh, here we go. Here's the 3D printing head, guys. So we've got three heads. We've got the 3D printing head, the laser head, and the CNC routing head. This is friggin' sweet, guys. It's really good quality. I'm, I'm very surprised, actually. There's a fair bit of weight in that. I'm really surprised by the quality. Uh, it looks like in here, guys, we've got a USB cable, so USA to USB. Um, Look at this, comes factory shipped with the Australian plug. So that over here in Australia, guys, we run 240 volt AC at 50 hertz. Um, so it's ready to go with a plug, which is great. Oh, here we have the power supply. Awesome. And the great thing about the power supply, guys, that it's CE certified. Okay, so over here, it's got the CE check. That means it's, it's uh, ready to go for Australian conditions and it meets the electrical standards. And that's what you need, guys, because if, if you were to import a 3D printer yourself from another country and uh, it wasn't CE certified and it, and it caught fire, God forbid it caught fire and burnt your house down, your insurance wouldn't cover you. So the great thing here is it is compliance. It's ready to go. Awesome. Okay, what do we got here? I've got something else in here. I'll try and pull it out. 
This looks like a leveling attachment. I think, I'm not sure what this is until I read the instruction. This could be a touch off probe or a measuring probe for the laser when you're laser engraving. And here we go. Now guys, this is really sturdy construction. Uh, it looks like to me it's aluminium plate. It looks around about four or five mil thick. Um, it's, been, it's definitely been CNC machined, I can see that. I can see some of the tool marks. It's been black anodized as well. Um, friggin' sweet, I'm really, I'm really you know, taken back by this, guys, the quality. Here we have, we've got look, another table. So this could, I'm not sure what this is for. Once again, it's been CNC machined. I can see the little toolpath pocket in there. Um, CNC tapped as well. Construction, I'm very, I'm very taken back by how sturdy this is, guys. It really is. Have a look at the packing. Like it's, you know, it's very sturdy, uh, very well protected in transit. What have we got in here? I'll tip it over so you guys can see the camera because it's a little bit unfair what I can see and you can't see. We've got um, tools, we've got screws, more screws. Looks like we've got a little Ethernet cable as well to plug in. I'd say this cable goes into the different, different heads, guys. So as you want to go, as you want to plug in, you can plug in your Ethernet port here to different ones. Oh, cool. This is unreal, guys. This is the little control panel. Look at that. So it's about the size, how to compare this. This would be about the size of a um, oh, like an old iPhone 4 or something like that. So it looks like to me it's the control panel for the uh, machine. Here we go. This is like one of those uh, those ads, guys, for, uh, but wait, there's more, okay, for those online shopping ads. Um, this is friggin' sweet, guys. This is all, holy cow, this is all aluminium construction. So it's not pressed sheet metal. Now, give you an idea, I don't know if you can see in the background here is a the Audi 3D printer that I bought about six months ago. Um, this thing, craps all, I don't know about, I haven't used it yet, but the build quality, this thing far surpasses that. Uh, that's all pressed sheet metal. Guys, this is all aluminium. Have a look at the control panel in here. Well, it must be, must be the microcontroller for the 3D printer. You can see all the different plugins there, all the ethernet ports, uh, USB port. It's got a little tiny micro SD port as well, and a power, okay, power on, power off button as well. So this is the actual control um, unit for the 3D printer, router, uh, laser engraver. Okay, we're well, still going guys, have a look at this. We've got another foam layer down in here. Very well packed guys, very sturdy. I'm, I, I, I kid you not guys, I'm taken back by this. You can sen no doubt sense the excitement in my voice. Holy cow, this is the Z guys, this is the Z motor uh, lift mount. I tell you what, it's gotta be half a kilo on weight there guys, it's, it's quite heavy. Um, it looks like down inside there, I'm not sure if you can see that, I'll try and get up closer for you in the camera. Um, it looks like a, some sort of, not a ball screw, but it looks like, uh, it's really gonna be really hard to get this on camera, guys. It looks like a mini ball screw in there, like really tiny, deep inside that rail in there. I'm sorry, I won't be able to get this on camera, guys. That's the Z one, so that must be the lift motor for Z. Um, we've got two more axes like that down in here. It's gotta get them out. Holy cow. So they're quite smart. It looks like, guys, they've used the same. There's a stepper motor, okay. So there's a stepper motor right at the top here, guys. Now it looks like they're pretty smart, these guys. They've designed one and then replicated that. Now that's, from a manu manufacturing perspective, that's pretty smart, guys, because the one unit will do the three axes. So that's a really good design, whoever designed it. Okay, here we go, so there's three there. Let me move this box out of the way. I don't think there's anything else down in there. Okay. So I can't see an instruction manual. Um, right, let me just open all the, lay all this out for you on the table. 
Uh, I've got my microphone caught up there. Alrighty. Alright guys, so what I'll do, I'll pause the video here for a moment and I'll start working out how to assemble this and catch that on camera as well. So bear with me for a second, don't go away, I'll be straight back. Alrighty guys, I've got it all together and um, assembled it. This is straight out of the box. Uh, you've got to remember this is an evaluation unit. So when it was sent to me, um, they must have mistakenly forgot to put the PDF plans, uh, you know, all the plans in there. So what I've did, I've um, assembled it to the best of my ability by looking at pictures on their Instagram and their website. And I think I've done a pretty good job. So moment of truth, let's boot it up. Alrighty, she's coming to life. Um, you've set it, you can see here in the video that I've set it up for routing configuration. Alright, so what we'll do now, we'll home the bed. So here's our little controller. Um, now, this is home at the moment. If I go to the next one, this is for files. Uh, this is where you can switch between laser, 3D printing, and CNC routing. Alright, uh, obviously on and off turns the spindle on and off. Uh, we'll home the machine by pushing this key here. And as always, it will home Z, X, and Y. Guys, that concludes my unboxing video for today. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. Um, tune in next time. I'm definitely going to be putting this little uh, machine through its paces. Um, remember, guys, it's a great little uh, th uh, multi-purpose 3D center. Uh, it will 3D print. It will see, uh, CNC engrave uh, and also um, a laser diode as well. Um, I want to thank uh, Nick and Brian for uh, allowing me to review this and uh, I'll definitely be back guys and I'll shoot a bit more video. I want to run it through its paces, uh, routing, um, 3D printing as well with the 3D print head and also the, the, dot, the laser head as well. Uh, you'll notice here guys that I've, at the moment I've got the routing bed put on. They do supply with another bed with a special um, 3D adhesive uh, tape that helps to adhere PLA. Alrighty. Thanks again, guys. Uh, if you want to keep following me on this project, uh, make sure you follow me on Instagram, so DCT Teacher One. Alrighty, thanks again. See you next time. Bye bye.